Welcome everybody, this is Tales from the Borderlands, episode 4, Escape Plan Bravo. Uh, yes, we need a recap because the freaking time frame in the between... The darkest moment in any hero's tale Sorry. usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion Past. Destroy that body while I'm still young. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare. And this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take revenge, I made a the con artist intervened. <laughs> that was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salaryman were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie. And their first job was likely to be their last. <gasps> da, da, da. Yeah, I, I'm kind of disappointed the time frame in between these episodes, man. I don't know. I would prefer, like, at least every month, you know? But anyways, we're on episode four. Uh, yeah, you just got nailed by the rock. Wow. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. <laughs> Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This Endless sparch down memory lane. There's got to be a reason for it. Obviously to torture me. <laughs> torture you? <laughs> Someone forcing me to be around you this long can only be described as torture. Oh! Hey, you're no peach to be around either. Snap. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose it. <sighs> I don't know. What's it going to do, huh? Shoot us both? <sighs> I seriously doubt that. We could jump him. Hey, you, what? There's yeah. two of us. Even you should like those odds. <laughs> Easy for you to say. You're not the one who keeps beating up. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Uh -oh. Remember, <laughs> zigzag when you run, okay? <laughs> Makes you harder to hit. Zigzag. It's not stupid. It's not stupid. It's, it's genius. <laughs> All right. Going on three. One. Oh, I'm totally going to run for it. Three. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. What the hell was that? I don't know. That's your time to escape. Shower. Get to the shelter. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh god. Dodge. Zigzag. See, he was right. Zigzagging works. Now attack him. Jump him. That was close. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, no, not the duct tape. What's that? Oh, come on! This again. Clearly, I can't trust you two, so you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, we gotta get up there, don't we? On. Vaughn! Shut up. Oh, hey! Hey! Oh, snap. Stop it, please! Not so rough. 
Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sorry, boss. The oh, nerd right. is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with him. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Gornis. Hey, look at me. It'll be all right. No. Oh. Tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the Vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. <laughs> Thank you, Gordas. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? <laughs> of course. What? <sighs> what the hell? You can't even Look at you, lift the gun? Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. You hurt anyone. That's what. Leave her alone. You can't blame yourself. You couldn't fight fair, could you? Had to call in some goons to take her on. Goons? I wouldn't call Brick and Mordecai that. They're highly trained vault hunters, and they deserve your respect. Now listen up. Under normal <laughs> circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. I ain't no stooge. You're a stooge. What do you say? Screw you. And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy any of this bullshit, Fiona. This is not a negotiation. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters. Uh, what? Ow! Oh, you Things bitch! Like this will stop happening. Ow! Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? Hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Son of a bitch! Don't give in! I I'm fine. Hey! I you just see. You I, wouldn't hurt anyone. I just want to no. see what happens. I said I didn't want to hurt anyone that cooperates. Let's see what happens. You heard me the first time. What's in it for us? Oh, mm. that ain't a good idea. <laughs> I think your friend here has a better uh -oh. perspective on that. Uh oh. Let's see. We might have made a mistake. Ow! You do whatever you want. Just stop, please. That's all I wanted to hear. Oh. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's good you didn't give in. She'll respect us now. What the hell is wrong with you two? We've got principles. Yeah, I've Son. got principles. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. This guy's an idiot. What's he Let's gonna do? Let's get cracking. He can't come up with a plan. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't bow to torture, man. Screw that. Valerie. I'm mm. telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, this isn't the first time we've had to get creative. We'll, we'll find okay, a rocket booster. Okay, okay, come on. I'm loving your optimism. Look, I know There's... what we have to do. Uh, I don't really, but, you know. Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordis's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. <laughs> I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. 
If you stop being so negative, oh. maybe we could How's your tum tum there, buddy? That'll one. teach you to hit the I taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. <sighs> wow, you we'll got the magic, kid. The they should and bottle the so stuff. Call it weak sauce. Shut the hell up, Jack. No, no, I'm sure there's, there's a great mission in there so somewhere. We just fault? just gotta keep looking. I'm not the one us to go on a deal, suicide mission. Just I hope stop you, calling you help me, but your like constant shit-talking isn't helpful. helping anybody. You've got to face reality. Oh, so Reese, you see, you're just so sadly is, mistaken. Don't have a choice. It's helping me no, pass the time inside your stupid here. little tiny you wallet head. Wait a second. Wallet head. I like that. Wallet head, wallet head. That's good stuff. You know we can't do that. Fine. All right, look, I know we've had our differences, I, and I'll I admit I can get but pretty grouchy when I don't get my own way. way. Oh, but being to maximize now? our chances, rest? I'm ready to bury the hatchet. All right. <coughs> it's a metaphorical hatchet, especially because I know I don't really have any hands right now. Oh, which is a real bitch, I tell you what. Yeah, yeah, I got a place to bury the hatchet. Uh, you're going <laughs> to say up your ass, aren't you? <laughs> Too late. Live in your shittiness. Yeah, what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. Shut up. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. <laughs> oh, you idiots. Everyone just please shut up for a second. Again, because here, here's, here's the deal. I... The beacon is in handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Shut well, up. Check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do. See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reese the location data. Ha ha ha, sucker! Let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. Uh, that whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> Man, how many people you gotta kill to get an office like that? Billions. And I think that's rounding down on Jack's murder count. You better... What? Tours the Jack experience. I get that you're scared. The I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. <laughs> Behold! Helios. Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship. Obviously. <laughs> Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Oh. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him anytime. Get your ride! Uh. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. High five. Woo! Or... And then it's off to Helios. Oh, uh, what? Come what? On. Oh, shit. My hands Before we dock, I'll tell her that we've arrived. She'll help us. Well, why not call her now? Now, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. Nice. Hi. Oh, yeah. At ease, soldier. <laughs> then I'll disable the security system. Uh, boom. Oh, shit. Uh, uh. Yeah, it'll work. Eh, that's fine. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Oh, yeah. Meet your new tour guides. Ha! <laughs> Sweet. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll... <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors oh. go the spoils. Nice. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you going to pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. Oh, snap. What the hell? 
And for the grand finale... <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, Digistruct of Vasquez. Oh, come on. The Rice Skez. <laughs> Jack's but inside Rice Skez. Inside... gonna want proof that Reese is dead. Oh my god. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So, I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. What? Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, princess. Uh, you'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom, what do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it. <laughs> Reese, if there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. Oh, you gotta admit, it was pretty weird when you passed out after we left the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're 100%. Which you're clearly not. What? We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. Oh, shut that's up. why you don't need to worry. Because we're friggin' Team Awesome. And August. That's why. <laughs> and August. Together, nothing can stop us. Huh? Bring it in. For the real thing. Let's hug it out. <laughs> um, don't no. look at me. I'll, I'll kill you. Oh, come on! Give me a hug! No team. <laughs> why would All they right. give me a hug? Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. God, I want to punch that guy. Come on! It was so annoying when I was trying to talk to Jack and the girls were like... Da -da 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 God, in the background, it's like... Let me have a conversation with August. Jack in my Watch head. Gordis. I'll miss you! Aww. Just hurry up. Gordis. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! <laughs> I love you. Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. Oh, he's fine. Maybe he's dead. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Just stick to the old con. We're professional racers. He looks like he lives on a diet of car exhaust and old ham. I doubt he'll see through it. He does smell like ham. <laughs> it's oh. my two favorite gals. <laughs> Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast. <laughs> Wait, no. Not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. <laughs> Racing is going awesome. We just won the Grand Chalice and the Bad Attitude Crater Invitational, and I am... Woo, tired from that. Uh, y'all know I was joking, right? I know you ain't really racing. <laughs> it ain't no big deal. Hell, I knew you was in trouble. And being lied to is one of the less horrific things that can happen to you out here. I'm just happy to see you. Aw, Scooter. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No, it's, uh, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't either. We need uh, a hero. Well, one of you like open your mouths and make with the wording so I can I can shut mine. We <laughs> need your help. Valerie's after us, and if we can't equip the caravan with a rocket and fly to Helios, we're all dead. Y'all need me? Oh man, I've always wanted to be somebody's knight in shining armor, saving all their lives and whatnot. Well, you're not quite. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Just let him have this. <laughs> I'm gonna be a hero! Woo! Woo! That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordis piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. <laughs> wow, Scooter's awesome, isn't he? Oh, Could wait. When I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two. Because, oh. look, I know a lot about cars, and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Uh-oh. 
Jamie Springs! Aw, oh, Athena's girlfriend. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I don't know if she's in much shape to help with the rocket stuff. She's been like that since she heard about a couple vault hunters nabbed her girlfriend out in the tundra. Mm. Athena? Oh, you know Athena? Man, small world. Yeah, we were there when it happened. Fiona was the last one with her. Then I don't know. Maybe you could talk to Janie, let her know what's what. Set her mind at ease if you can. Aw, oh, Janie.